Tommy, obviously a quick turnaround, training today, how was that? Yeah, good, it's when you have games Saturday, Tuesday, there's not a lot you do in terms of um, physical output, it's more, it's a regeneration thing over the couple of days since the game. Um, so we're quite, we're fairly routine in what we do on a Monday, we obviously have a look at the opposition, it be the first time that the, the players would have had a, had a look on the screen at what they do. Um, so we've put a couple of things in their head, um, and the vast majority, if not all of them, have come back from Saturday, you know, uh, unscathed as it were, even Kwame, whose nose wasn't broken in the end, but it was just took a big bash. So uh, yeah, we're, we're healthy. Of course, obviously, Kane comes back into the, the reckoning, or the, you know, he's uh, an option for us because he's, he's one match suspension is finished. Also, we're well, talking about that. Obviously, it's a we, we've said before in a few instances, it's a great uh, headache to have, isn't it, when someone comes back and the players that have been in their place have, have played so well. So I'm not expecting you to give away who's going to be playing, but it's it's obviously a good dilemma, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's something I'll probably sleep on a little bit more because I think everybody who's gone into the back line um, has done really well for me and um, they've all got very different skill sets um, and Keynes is quite unique, if I'm being honest. So from that point of view, it, it is a different um, conundrum for, for me. Um, but we, we've got an idea of how we go. Um, the players know how we'll go. So what we want is a, another good performance. At the end of the day, I think a lot of people quite rightly went on about the fact we scored you know two goals inside two minutes or a minute and a bit um but over the game i've watched the game back and i've you know looked at it statistically it's a game we should have won we should have been outside by half time so that's something we want to improve on you know if we get if we're having periods of dominance like we did we want to we want to put the you know the game in the position that we should have it and at nil nil at half time in fairness the hartley pools have come out and scored but uh the reaction of my lads was superb so it's something you've said about in the past, but obviously when we're at home, it's, you know, we want to kind of impose the way we play. It's, it's, so again, you know, when we have different teams come in, it, it, like you said, it, it, they impose different challenges, but is it about sending the players out, you know, just knowing what we want them to do? Well, I think that's a mantra I stand by from the moment I've come in the club. I mean, once once we, we did, a, a, you know, a sort of a clean out and a, and a refreshing of the squad in the summer, it was, we, we laid our intentions very much at the beginning of pre-season and the way we wanted to play and we're getting there. We're not exactly where I want to be, but we, we're getting there and certainly there's periods in most of the games we played this season um, where we've impo imparted our game, will, whatever you want to call it, on the opposition. And I think when you do that and you can capitalise by scoring goals doing that, then it's, it stands you in good stead. I, you know. I, People say all sorts of things about all different styles of play, but ultimately we all want to win matches. And, yeah. You know, the manager and the other dugout tomorrow, 100%, I've got massive admiration for. He's, he stood the test of time at this level and he's, he's from a higher level in terms of football knowledge. So, you know, um, and he gets things done. He, he, he wins games. So we're under no, under, under no illusion that um, tomorrow will be as tough a game as Saturday was and as Solihull was the week before. So, you know, we, we can't, just assume things are going to happen. Uh, we've got to make them up. Obviously, something that helped us on Saturday was the backing of the fans. You know, you mentioned it after the game as well, how good it was. Again, and it would be great to have that again t tomorrow night. Yeah, I mean, the weather was a bit wet and uh, miserable on Saturday, but the, the fans never stopped. Even, you know, the fact that we did go behind, um, we responded to the atmosphere. There was no negativity. I didn't hear any negativity at all throughout the whole game. And sometimes crowds can get anxious. I understand that. But um, I think they're buying into what we're doing. They're, they're sub certainly supporting us all man away. And we, we, we not only acknowledge that, we appreciate that massively, which is why we, we do what we do at the end of the game. You know, we're not getting excited. We're just we're very thankful of the support we're getting. But one of the things I was told when I got here was we hadn't won enough games as a football club at home over the last three or four seasons. But uh, touch wood, the, um, that seems to be on the turn and, and it's something that any, if you want to be successful, you've got, you've got to be decent at all, it's as simple as that.